Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam and today we are going to continue with learning a few more tips about using keyboard and mouse Let's look at uh, the first control here and as we can see the cockpit there is a switch here which can turn on the lights in the dark if you like or you can turn it off so if you are flying at night and you want to see all the controls you can press this one let me zoom it a little bit so you can see and lift it up okay there's the light you can see you can turn on these lights and this is the light off while we are here we can also of course this is flying but we can apply the park brake here and you can see the brakes here when you are ready to take off you release the park brakes by pressing pulling the knob here so that's that's point number 2 uh, while we are here and here is our navigation pointer and anything that has a knob we can turn that with the wheel and change the degrees if it says uh, 240 degrees and that's where you're going to go to 240 degrees and this is like a 270 degrees which is uh, going west as you rotate it and you go to 70 and of course 360 degrees is north and if you want go, if you are going north starting and then you turn the dial you go to north which is 360 degrees and the opposite of that is south which is 180 degrees so that's how any one of these let me see if i can bring this down so we can experiment with some of these other controls oh i have to lock this we can also change the nose position by using this okay so now we can change the nose position or we can bring it down so anything that has a dial we should be able to now this is the altitude and let me just zoom out here and this is the altitude which is at 7000 feet and i can bring this down if i want to and i don't know if you can see it but uh, we can bring it down to like 6000 feet uh, above the ground level or the sea level whatever the position may be so using the roller you can change lot of these knobs positions and get the desired effect in fact you can also change the vivo or dial rotate it as you like if you like you can rotate it or counter clockwise either direction anything that has a knob we should be able to uh, use the roll on the mouse in the middle and turn them on to to the to the back or to the front to get to the desired level here we are flying at a speed of 100 nautical miles or air miles and now let us move on i talked about the throttle here and uh, as you can let me let me bring this down a little bit so that uh, you can see the effect of the throttle and you see throttle is like a mixture of air and gasoline and when you turn it down the sound becomes low and the when you want to maintain a certain speed you want to mix about 65% uh, uh gas and water so that's how you get that one we have removed the yoke here we can put the yoke back uh, here either we can use the numeric pad which is on the keyboard to your right that numbers uh, going from 0 to 9 which also shows the arrows if you look at the keyboard carefully you will see number 8 has an up arrow number 4 6 has a rightward arrow number 4 has a left arrow number 2 has a down arrow and we also have a separate uh, arrow keys uh, just beneath the shift key if you don't have it you can use, just use the numeric keypad and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press 8 okay if i press the down arrow we can see it brings up the position and this is where we can actually try 
the parking brake, as you can see, the parking brake position is up and it is down. All right, if we use the left arrow key, it will move to the left. The best way to look at it is like this, bring the whole thing down. All right, so left arrow key, and then if you move to the right arrow key, it moves to the right side. So those are some of the functions which can be used with either the numbers on the numeric key pair or on the, here's the eight, as we can see, when I press eight, the plane goes down. If I press two, the cockpit views comes up. So that's number two, and this is number eight, as you can see, and this is number four, which goes to the left side, and only twice you can do it, number six, which is showing the right side. All right, so let us uh, leave this part and let's move on to the next one. Let us say you want to see the plane from outside. Then you can push the insert key, which is uh, right above the backspace. You know, the insert and delete. So you press the insert key. Now you can see the plane from outside. Supposing you want to search your house in the neighborhood, you get the plane to the location and then find out uh, where exactly your house may be. If it's in this corner, then you get inside the plane and try to get to this particular corner. So that's, that's getting a more global view and you can see what you need to do and see the plane turning and then we can do this one and as you can see the plane is turning itself. The other way to use is end key, E-N-D, end key. When you press the end key, you also see some dials here as it is turning. This is a demo program, so the instructor is playing with these dials. As the dial is changing the angles, you can see the plane turning in that direction. And here is the air speed, and here we also have the altitude. I don't think we have the control over the altitude, but if you're actually flying the plane, you can control all these things by pressing the end key, E-N-D. If you press the end key again, you're back inside the cockpit. I'm glad, oh, glad you're back inside the cockpit. So those are some of the things that uh, we can use. Uh, and again, you use your roller to get to the desired location. So it's like, and then press the right key to lock that position. And you want to see some light, you can put on the light on here. There you go, gentlemen. I think this should be enough for this presentation. And in the next presentation, we're going to explore more mouse and keyboard connections to fly the plane. And once we get familiar with these controls, we should be also able to, to turn the plane ourselves. Once we get that and once we learn how to use the brakes, we will actually try to fly a test flight. Okay, thank you so much for watching this presentation and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time.